Hello everybody, this is Jacob Tarney here from ChasingCinema.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the fact that Kate Beckinsale herself will be lacing up the leather <laughs> one more time for Underworld 5. Uh, now it has been reported by uh, the Hollywood Reporter that Kate Beckinsale is going to be reprising her role as Selena in the Underworld franchise in this fifth installment of Underworld. It also was reported that Anna Foster will be helming this project and joined by Theo Jones, who will be also be reprising his role as the vampire David. Um, so, let's kind of talk about Underworld. Now, I have family members who are obsessed with this franchise, who absolutely love this franchise, and they're not alone. A lot of people love this movie, but to be honest with you, I've never been truly impacted by the Underworld movies. I love, I like the four, I, yeah, I wouldn't even say love. I really enjoyed the first movie, and I, honestly, everything after that, besides Rise of the Lycans, is all kind of a blur. To be honest with you, before the support happened, I totally sp spaced that a fourth one happened, which is called uh, Awakenings. You know, there's Underworld, there's Evolution, there's Rise of the Lycans, and then there's Awakenings. And to be honest, I, I totally forgot that Awakenings even happened. Um, but obviously, those... Uh, movies found great success. People enjoy watching uh, that world. It's very dark. It's, it's you know, I mean, it's very fun, very action driven, uh, and, and it's surprising because Kate Beckinsale really hasn't been doing much as of late. I mean, uh, the last thing I can honestly think I've seen her in was in um, Total Recall, which I believe her husband made. And uh, but beyond that, I mean, Kate Beckinsale was, you know, a huge, huge name you know, during the whole Underworld franchise, and she was in a lot of stuff, she was constantly in things, and then the more I thought about this when I received this news from THR, which, if you want to read the full report, make sure you go to ChasingCinema.com, hit that news button, you'll be able to find this video, and be able to see the full report from THR, that I haven't seen her in anything as of late. It's been a really long time since I've seen her in anything. Uh, besides Total Recall, and Total Recall, I guess, wasn't that long ago. Was it a year ago? Two years ago, maybe? I'm not sure. But beyond that, I mean, I don't even remember what she was in before that. So it's been quite a long time. But personally, Underworld 5 and something like that, I'm, oh, yes, I, I'm so happy it's here. I'm not like that. Most people are, though. So I, I'm probably in the minority there. But hopefully, they'll be able to... I, I mean, I know Awakening wasn't met with much... Uh, with much praise so hopefully this is going to be a really solid addition and really kind of saying we're still here and we still want to make a statement and i want it to be good don't get me wrong i've always said that I, I root for every movie to be good i don't ever want a movie to fail i'm just hoping i just have to go through history and say well history might repeat itself so either way you want to read this full report again from thr you go to chasingcinema.com hit that news button you're able to find this video and see the full report uh but most importantly, I want to know what you think about uh, Cape XL returning for Underworld 5. Let me know down here in the comment section below how you feel about this and maybe if you agree or disagree with me about the Underworld franchise. Uh, show your support by liking and favoriting this video. Also, if you want to make this conversation more intimate, please follow me on my social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that fun stuff, and Chase and Cinema's Facebook and Twitter, where I tweet out all the links to everything that we do. Do that below here in the description box. You'll be able to find all that information. But most importantly, above all, please, 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 thank you for watching. But hit that subscribe button. Each day, I constantly update this YouTube channel with movie news, casting details, uh, movie reviews, podcasts, giveaways, anything going on. I really want to talk about it, and I want to bring it to you guys, and I do my best to kind of make you a part of that. So please, please hit that subscribe button. Today, I talked about uh, Aza Butterfield being cast in the new Spider-Man movie. Possibly not confirmed i also talked about david lynch confirming that he'll be directing the twin peaks season three on a showtime as well as other fun stuff i reviewed mad max recently pitch perfect two yesterday all that is available on our youtube channel so make sure you take part of that chasing thank you so much for tuning in my name is jake toronto and please continue chasing cinema